Annika, what is your what is your take on the European Green Deal and especially obviously the transport side of it? I think you know that if we look at uh, the taxation of fossil fuels that um, sh is likely to increase, then um, look at how uh, public transport and railways are um, taxed uh, with you know possibly lower rates or exemptions because of their um, sustainability advantage. Uh, that can that can help uh, the model shift as well. Public transport authorities that have a sustainable urban mobility plan that were the fastest to respond to the COVID crisis and to make, let's say, um, a good use of the opportunities that were in the lockdown. The ambition to phase out fiscal advantage for salary cars in Belgium is not reflected in the governmental agreement. Will you be able to still make a change on this important issue for Belgian mobility? Two important things about uh, salary cars. First of all, is you have to electrify the, the, the system. You have to have uh, less uh, polluting uh, cars uh, on, on, on the way. But we want to change the system with a global uh, fiscal uh, reform, which makes that you, are, you, you pay people in euro and not in, in, in cars. And, and underlying it, if I may, and not to put words into your mouth, Minister, it's not about demonizing individual car drivers, but making sure that we give them the package of incentives and alternatives so that things change. Uh, if we're thinking globally about you know, the European Green Deal, we also have to act locally. Statistics show that people tend to prioritize a car over public transport in the current situation. Are there already strategies being developed or maybe applied as well to make them use public transport again? So I think that rebuilding trust to communication is one thing, and then to ensure uh, that over the long term, we've got the capacities to, um, you know, to attract people to transport by making giving them those space and making it convenient and you know using more and more digital tools as well that can enhance the system overall i mean that is the second step after covid and globally is to make public transport more attractive um, to make it the number one choice of citizens if they think uh, i need to get from a to b how do i do that